back. Happy Monday, friends. On Mondays, we love to go around the table with our friend Jolene Ketzenberger. She's a local foodie who's been part of the show since, I think, literally day one. Yes. Uh, she does recon week, week long uh, about what new restaurants are coming to Indy, maybe some closings as well. And so, Jolene, good to see you as always. Oh, nice to be here, as yeah. always. We love when yeah. you're here. Well, you're letting us know you. what's opening, what's closing, so what's the latest? Well, so I'm, I've been kind of following along with this, uh, with the social media on this one. So Arden Indy will be opening, um, I believe in November, um, on Washington Street. Oh, wow, it's look like at that. 6 West Washington oh, Street. This cool. is from their social medias. you got to follow them. Um, so, yeah, a cafe and lounge, um, a fashion hub oh. and event center, they call oh. it. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so that's going to be very be fun. cool looking to check oh. out. Uh, you know, coffee and pastries, and they have brunch and and cocktails. And, oh, yeah. Looks vibrant. I know. Vibrant. Oh. Absolutely very vibrant. vibrant. You could get some great photos in there. <laughs> right. I think that's the hope, that's, right? That's the hope, yes. <laughs> um, and then Shindig will be opening soon. This is the latest from the Cunningham Restaurant Group. Oh, cool. And so this is on Roosevelt Avenue. And if you know where North Mass Boulder is, yes. it's right along through there. But it's a street. It's like right by the highway. It's there's not much else down that little street. Okay. Um, so, but it's going to. I'm sure it's going to get lots of lots of attention when Shindig opens. Pizza, wings, very family friendly. Yeah. Sandwiches, salads, that kind of stuff. So, another concept from Cunningham. I like the name too. Yeah, doesn't yeah, that's fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. Shindig. Yeah. yeah. And there's a big parking lot behind the building, so it'll be it'll be great. I always great love that when right. you know where to park. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but Fountain and Fountain Square. So um, Magdalena is going to be opening um, in November um, from where the Thunderbird used to be. Okay. Oh, it's right okay, there yeah. Shelby Street, right there on the corner. Um, so with a New Orleans vibe. Oh, cool. Yeah. Creole. So, yeah, Cajun. Yeah, exactly. So the, the, uh, the owner, I think, has had some restaurants in uh, in the New Orleans area. Yeah. We have a, we have a teammate, uh, Michael, in our, in our uh, creative department who is from Louisiana, yeah. and I've always asked him, is it Cajun or Creole, and there's, 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 there's two there's different, mm -hmm. there's, there's differences, there's differences, there's unique differences. differences. Okay, exactly Magdalena's, right. what's up with yeah. Fernando's, that's well, there, yes, well, Fernando's, Fernando's. <laughs> so that's a little spot in Broad Ripple, yeah. a Brazilian and Mexican, mm -hmm. but they are going to be opening a new location, another oh, location, on Mass Ave. Um, so right there, 888 Mass Ave, it's former Roosters. Location. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, That's yeah, great. So, so, yeah, so they're they're doing really well. A lot of attention for their Brazilian-inspired yeah. um, Brazilian dishes. cuisine. Tons of meat. A lot of meat. <laughs> a lot good of protein. Meat. Very good protein. Yeah. I love it. Exactly. Okay, congrats to them. Congrats their, uh, to them. Another setup. location. So, yeah, they're doing very well. Yeah. Uh, the Tinker Coffee folks, so they had a sneak peek for their new location, the Firehouse location, they're calling it. Cute. Cool. And a former fire station love there okay. at 56 in Illinois. So, so that will be opening up very shortly. I good for think. them. Yeah. Yes. So they're, they're getting ready for their grand opening, so follow along with them that information. Okay. I love when people use old buildings and right. repurpose, repurpose it into something yeah, like else. Schoolhouse Cafe. Yes, yeah, Schoolhouse the Cafe <laughs> is another good show. one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Or um, Indianapolis Salt Cave. We were just there recently and it's a former firehouse as well. So cool. Well, yeah. do we yeah. use them. You know, they're usually right in neighborhoods. Right? Pretty so cool. cool. Yeah. Oh, and oh, we got to mention <laughs> a little hot dog shop that is open on 46th Street. Oh, Glizzy's, fun. Glizzy's Hot Dog Stand. Glizzy's, okay. <laughs> I love so, the artwork. So that is fun. So that's on uh, East 46th Street. Not not quite to Keystone. Okay. Uh, but but not not too far off. Glizzy's. Yeah. Yeah, those are some those are some animated <laughs> hot dogs there on the on the mural there. That's fun. They're looking at it like I can't believe it. I can't believe we're here. <laughs> that's but cool. Lots, but lots happening on that little area of 46th Street as yeah. well. Yeah. That so is awesome. Good for them. Well, yeah. welcome, Glizzy's, and congrats. Congrats. That's I exciting. Know, right? So cool. Yeah. I love seeing the list of all the new places people can well, check there's out. There's usually something new. I know. That's yeah. the great yeah. thing about our area is we've become yeah. this really foodie type of city and yep. surrounding areas. Where can people Definitely. follow you, Jolene? Just find me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, follow Culinary Crossroads if you want to check out that, culinarycrossroads.org. Um, and, and yeah, just kind of keep up with yeah. me online. Awesome. Amazing. Well, she also just announced yesterday on her Facebook, uh, <gasps> you're, you're like hosting a trip to Italy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, is, that, is that what's going on? Yes, so there, so there's a there's an Italy tour, lots of culinary excursions. Amazing. I, yeah, so if anybody has uh, been wanting a, 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 one of those wonderful trips to Italy next October, so okay. you've got a whole year. Yeah, cool. Go go. Yeah, gallivant around <laughs> Italy with Jolene. Wouldn't that be incredible? Yeah. 
incredible. That's great. Yeah, yeah it so sounds like such a great awesome. trip. So I would love to, to go along with people who are into food. How cool. fun would that be? Oh, her Check it out. Yeah. Culinarycrossroads.org is where you can learn more about Jolene and connect with her. Thanks so much, friend. Well, thank you. Good to see you. Jolene, as always. Thank you so much.